Hi, this is Abstract Jazz with URM. You're tuned into another episode of Under the Radar. Today, we are here with XA Beats. You know. <laughs> so, XA, tell us, what does XA stand for? XA is basically my initials, Xavier Allen. You know, let's keep it simple. I didn't want to put too much effort into it, you know. Okay. And so you're a producer. What kind of music do you listen to? Being a producer, I would I listen to everything and if you're another producer I would suggest you to listen to everything as well. So it goes from classical, pop, R and B, of course hip hop, anything, really. What's your favorite um type of music to listen to though? Hip hop. Hip hop. Yeah. Okay. Is that what um, is that where a lot of your beats are based on? Most of them, pretty much. Okay. When did you start producing? I was uh, 16. Uh, I was in high school, right in the middle of high school. Okay. Can you tell us about your experience when you like? What made you decide that you really, really wanted to do it? Like from that first time. When I really, really decided I wanted to do it, mm -hmm. uh, probably like two or three months at the. I started producing, I won a test spin on 88.9 Strictly Hip Hop, shout out to them. And I was like, yeah, maybe I should do this, because you know, I just started out and I'm on the radio in like two or three months, so that's when I was like, yeah, maybe I should. Okay, so you got a good good feedback on that, that's good. What was, the, what was that song? It was, it was a beat, it was, was a beat. beat, it was just a beat. It, it was, I don't even remember the name of it, <laughs> that's bad, because there's so many of them. But um, it was a sample. It, was, it had a little knife wonder feel to it. I was really into sampling at that time. And that's all. Um, and what inspired you to start producing? What inspired me to start producing, I actually started out rapping. And one of my father's good friends, he came by, he was DJing, he showed me the software because he knew I rap. It was FL Studio, so I was like, oh, that's how you do it. I was already musically inclined. I knew how to play trumpet, piano, so I was like, I might just make beats. So really just starting out rapping, I just always wanted it. How did the beats come about? That's how I started. So what's, um, like, what makes your sound different from, like, other producers here? What makes my sound different from other producers here? See, a lot of producers, I'm not going to say no names or anything, I don't want no drama, but a lot of producers out here in the city, they have no type of feel for the groove. They have no musical abilities. None of them know how to play the piano. Most of them start out making trap beats. They don't know the culture of hip-hop and how it all started. You got to know that to get your own style. So, basically... I like I like to make samples more, but right now you know the trap beats are in now, so that's what I'm kind of doing right now. But I try to put as much effort as I can into the piano and the melodies than most producers out here do. That's good. What are some of your standout moments? Uh, first standout moment was 88.9 Strictly Hip Hop. Second standout moment was a year later they put me back on there. Mm -hmm. Uh, another one, I met uh, Mike Braxton, she, the uh, brother of Tamar and Tony Braxton. He told me, whenever you feel like you're ready, hit me up. And I sent it out to Tony and Tamar. Uh, recently, I got uh, track number two on Lil Tay's mixtape, uh, Closer to My Dreams 2. It's called Day One featuring Test Me. Shout out to CHM, shout out to Soul Swag. And right now, uh, I got Sunny Reds. I got like three tracks on his uh, tape being a DTLR near you soon and I got another thing cooking up I'm not going to say <laughs> just, um, just got to wait for that one <laughs> okay so uh, what are some of your goals now as a my goal I want to have my own label when I make it but right now I'm trying to get a major placement a major artist on my beat mm -hmm. somebody like Future or something like that because that's how you got to start and uh Basically work on my own style more. Those are my goals. That's well, tell people uh, where they could find your beats and everything. Honestly, you ain't even got to type in no extra stuff. You can just Google <laughs> me. Just X.A.B.E.A.T.Z. 
typing in Google, it's like three pages of my stuff. Um, my website will be relaunching soon, www.xa410.com, probably uh, Friday. So look out for that. Okay. Can people expect anything else new from you? Uh, yep. I'm working on my own mixtape, actually, with me rapping my beats. Mm -hmm. And a comp compilation album with all the artists I produce for out in the city. I'll probably drop that around February. Not, I don't have a set date, but I'm trying to shoot for February. So you rap too, so you're going to have like your mixtape out and all of that too? Yeah, I'm going to try to. If it don't work out, if I don't like it, I ain't releasing it. <laughs> Is this going to be your first mixtape? Uh, no, I have a, I have another beat mixtape online. It's called Bruce Lee Whitman. It's on that piff. You can, you can probably, once, once you Google me, you'll find that too. So um, definitely download that, listen to that. Okay, XA, thank you for your time. Tune in next week on Under the Radar every Sunday, bringing you new interviews. And we're out. Put in work, I put in work, I earn my spot.